Hey guys, welcome back to Ancient Mysteries. In this video, we're diving into a tale that has puzzled and disturbed maritime historians and enthusiasts for decades. A story so chilling it defies logical explanation. So prepare yourself as we unravel the enigmatic case of the Oran Madan. Imagine sailing through the Straits of Malacca, a stretch of water between the Malay Peninsula and the Indonesian island of Sumatra. It's the late 1940s. The sea is calm, the skies are clear, and your ship's radio suddenly cracks to life with a hiss of static. A Morse cold message comes through. SOS from the Warring Madan. It states, We float. All officers, including the captain, are dead, lying in chart room and bridge possibly whole crew dead. The transmission concludes with two haunting words, I die. Now your heart's racing, your ship's crew alters course to find this mysterious vessel, the Orang Madan, to place savior to any possible survivors. As you approach, you see that the ship appears to be in perfect condition, airily pristine against a backdrop of endless ocean. No signs of damage, no indication of what might have befallen the crew. You signal, but there is no response. The ship seems abandoned, yet its SOS still echoes in your mind. As you board, a frigid wind hits you. You shiver, something's not right. The tropical heat has no business interwining with such an unnatural, bone-chilling cold. You begin to explore, and the reality of the SOS becomes grotesquely apparent. The crew lies scattered, faces twisted in agony, their eyes wide open in a stare that could only be described as seeing the face of death itself. Even the ship's dog lie lifeless, its body contorted in a pose suggesting a final futile struggle against an unseen terror. Your steps echo through the hollow corridors as you venture deeper into the bowels of the ship. There's no sign of physical struggle, no evidence of a mutiny, piracy, or any conventional maritime disaster. It's as if the entire crew was snuffed out by an invisible hand, their souls yanked from their bodies in an instant. And remember, the air is still freezing, a suffocating kind of cold that seems to draw the very warmth from your bones, as though the ship itself is alive and feeding off your energy. You find the ship's logs and records. It's mundane, standard entries about the journey, weather conditions, and cargo. And then it stops. The pages are blank, as if the chronicler was suddenly ripped away from their duty. The temperature starts to drop even further, each degree pulling you closer to the realm of whatever unspeakable thing claimed the lives of the Ori Madan crew. As you turn to Lee, keen on escaping this floating tomb, you feel it, a presence. You're not alone. A creeping sense of dread washes over you. Your instincts scream at you to flee, to escape this wretched place in its unspeakable secret. But your body is frozen, not from the cold, but from sheer paralyzing fear. For years, speculation has swirled around the tail of the Oran Madan. Some say it was carrying a deadly cargo of chemical weapons. Others whisper of supernatural forces, malevolent entities that roam the high seas in search of souls to claim. Skeptics point to the lack of official records as proof that the story is a mere fabrication, a dark fable concocted by sailors to pass the time during long, lonely voyages. Yet the myth persists, refusing to be confined to the annals of maritime legend. In the rescue mission, they abandoned the ship. They set it ablaze and watched it sink into the depths, as if trying to bury the malevolent force that claimed the lives of the Waramadan crew. But can such a force ever truly be vanquished? Whatever the truth, the story of the Waramadan serves as a chilling reminder that there are things in this world, perhaps beyond it, that defy explanation. It's a story that sails on, crossing the boundaries between the known and the unknown, forever inviting those who hear it to question what mysteries may lurk beneath the seemingly placid waves of our world's oceans. As always, thank you for joining us on this harrowing journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more explorations into the enigmatic and the airy. Until next time, may your compass steer you clear of the haunted waters where the Oring Madan once sailed.